Slanchawa er Iahisha. My name is Darius, and this is the world that was. Today, I'm making a very quick and easy accompaniment to any medieval Irish meals that you may have planned. A bowl of prashach. The basis of this is a simple savoury porridge, which is then flavoured with some sautéed mustard greens. Although wild mustard, charlock, is usually used, any suitably pungent edible greens can also be used. In any case, let's now take a look at the world that was. To begin with, we need to chop some greens. Though prashok is normally made using wild mustard, you can also of course use normal mustard greens, or even turnip greens like I'm using here. They all have very similar taste profiles, being pungent and somewhat hot greens, that react very similarly to each other when being cooked. In any case, finally chop your greens, removing any untoward looking leaves that have escaped your prep work. When your greens of choice have been chopped to your liking, toss a knob of Irish butter into a pan and let it melt. You can of course use normal butter, I'm just completely biased. When the butter is melted, toss in your chopped greens and let everything sauté away over a medium heat for only a couple of minutes. Your greens may shrivel up, but this is normal. Take them off the heat when they've been coated in butter and are lovely and fragrant, and have wilted very slightly. When your greens have cooled off, go start making your porridge base. Toss equal parts of oatmeal and water, or milk if you want to be fancy, into a pot, and place this over a medium-high heat. Keep this stirring so it doesn't stick and burn to the bottom of your pot. Although I used rolled oats here, which may have had a similar analogue in antiquity, whole oat groats would have been more commonly used. Groats are the whole, unhusked grains themselves, as opposed to the husked, rolled, and crushed grains used today. When your oats have been cooked, but are still about 10 minutes away from being served, toss in your cooked greens. Stir all of this together and let it infuse for about 10 more minutes. Serve up warm in a bowl of your choice and dig in. The finished dish is quite thin and easy going. It's not overly flavorful, but has a very nice background heat to it, thanks to the mustard greens. By sauteing them, you cut the edge off of the taste and let it mellow out among the oats. Oats themselves are a wild grain, which can be grown in relatively poor quality soils, such as those found in parts of the Midlands in the west of Ireland, and as a result were seen as a peasant grain for much of the medieval period. Porridge is one of these medieval dishes that persist into the modern day, as it's a very simple yet filling dish that can be altered with the addition of many different ingredients. Prashak Osquelga means porridge, or a mess, depending on where in the island you're coming from. And to be honest, both translations work here, as the finished dish is probably the least fancy thing I've made on this channel. However, we have to remember that Ireland was, and to an extent still is, a relatively poor island, in comparison to mainland Europe and this is reflected in our cuisine today. Much of our staple dishes, and traditional dishes, have been translated from antiquity, and therefore affected by occupation by a certain empire. While prashak would likely have been a subsistence dish, eaten as a whole meal from time to time, it also works as a side dish for any meal that you may have planned for today. In any case, I hope you all enjoyed this very quick look at the world that was. If you liked what you saw, please consider leaving a like on this video, or possibly even subscribing to my channel for some more ancient recipes. I've also left a link to my Patreon in the video description if you want to support me directly. Thanks again for watching.